In breaking news tonight, President Joe Biden is reassuring Americans that he's doing okay after testing positive for COVID-19 earlier this morning. The president and those monitoring his condition say he's only experiencing mild symptoms. Officials say the president's taking the antiviral pill Paxlovid to help treat the illness. President Biden has been fully vaccinated and twice boosted against the coronavirus. Today, the first lady said she's tested negative for the virus and continues to fulfill her schedule wearing a mask. A new report released by the NTSB a few hours ago gives us more information about what happened during that train derailment near Menden. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller is live with us in studio tonight. Kennedy, this report not only gives us new information on the crash, but it tells us what's next in the investigation. Lucas, according to the report, the NTSB plans to further investigate things like the design of the highway, the railroad crossing, and survival factors. Now, back in June, an Amtrak train was on its way to Chicago when it hit a dump truck near Menden. This crash resulted in four people dying and more than 100 people hurt. This afternoon, the NTSB released a document with new information about the crash. Reports show the train was traveling 89 miles per hour when it hit the brakes one mile below the legal speed limit where the collision happened. In the report, it states movements of the train were tracked by a traffic control system and a dispatcher in Texas. The railroad tracks in the area are also designed to prevent train on train collision and trains from over speeding. Now, as a result of the crash, at least seven lawsuits have been filed with the most recent filed yesterday. Family members are suing for the death of 82 year old Ben Fawn of Kansas. Back to you, Lucas. Kennedy, thank you. Investigators are looking at data recorders for the train and the dump truck engine control module.